I probably knew before the start of last season that it was my last year. And I and tried you, to, you know, I, I, well, I knew that, you know, it was just our time was, you know, it's, it, you know, our time was, was coming to an end. I never cared about legacy. I mean, I, I could give it about that's never, I never once when I was in high school said, man, I can't wait for my, what my football legacy looks like. I mean, that's a very, it's just not me. That's not my personality. So why would I choose a different place? It's because it was just time. I don't know what to say other than that. Like I had done everything. I accomplished everything I could in two decades with an incredible organization, incredible group of people. And that will never change. And no one can ever take that away from me. No one can ever take those experience or Super Bowl championships away from us. I can't do his job and he can't do mine. Right. So the fact that you could say, would I be successful without him, the same level of success? I don't believe I would have been. But I feel the same in, in, in vice versa as well. The, the, to have him allowed me to be the best I could be. So I'm grateful for that. And I very much believe that he feels the same way about me because we've expressed that to each other. But Tom, so, isn't there some the resentment people, on your but? But Tom, isn't there some resentment people, on your part that he didn't make you a patriot for life? In other words, no, absolutely not. No, because this is a part for me in my life to experience something very different. And you know, there's things, there's there's ways for me to grow and evolve in a different way that I haven't had the opportunity to do.